Now, a month after its collapse, the trouble seems to be far from over for Credit Suisse. A company has told a London court during a trial that Credit Suisse has learned nothing from the 2008 financial crisis. Lorley Financing, a company set up by German bank IKB, is suing Credit Suisse over its 2007 purchase of $100 million of notes as part of a collateralized debt obligation or CDO transaction. CDOs are an asset class which were blamed for the 2008 financial crisis in the United States. The company said in the court that it bought the notes because of Credit Suisse's false and dishonest representations about their value. To bolster its argument, Lorley's lawyer repeatedly referred to Credit Suisse's $5.28 billion investment with the U.S. Department of Justice, which settled claims that it had misled those who invested in its residential mortgage-backed securities. Lorley's lawyer said that Credit Suisse's defense to the lawsuit suggests the bank considers its conduct as acceptable banking practice. However, Credit Suisse argued in the court that, this, uh, that the settlement with the U.S. Department of Justice makes no reference to dishonesty, fraud or misrepresentation. While Lorley's lawsuit, which was filed in 2018, predates Credit Suisse's takeover by its UBS last month, the case underlines the legacy issues facing UBS in taking on Credit Suisse. The Swiss bank has suffered from high-profile risk management failures and a string of losses in recent years. In March this year, Credit Suisse became the biggest name ensnared by market turmoil unleashed by the collapse of U.S. lenders Silicon Valley Bank and Signature Bank, forcing the 167-year-old Swiss bank to tap a $54 billion central bank funding.